Former Secretary General Arewa Forum, Anthony Sane, calls for Buhari's return, gives reason. Can you imagine? So if somebody is here is from the north is calling for the return of Buhari to power Abi without election Abi or how? Is it dictatorial or by coup? How do you want him to come back? Okay, the suffering that he gave Nigerians for the, for his eight years, is it not enough? And you want him to come back and do what? And give us more suffering. Because you think the, the uh, Buhari's suffering is better than Tinubu's suffering, Abi? I do not all the same, the APC uh, 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 APC dictators. Let's see what this man is saying. In an interview with Sunday Sun, Mr. Anthony Sani, a respected elder statesman and former Secretary General of the Arewa Consultative Forum, ACF, provided his insight into Nigeria's current socioeconomic challenges and addressed various political matters. He also called for the return of former President Muhammad Ubuari. Can you imagine? According to Saturday, so, so according to Sunday Sun, Mr. Sani began by acknowledging the inherent difficulty for any Nigerian regime to enjoy widespread popularity. He cited the short-lived Matala regime as a rare exception. The, he highlighted the economic challenges that President Bola in, inherited, um, including issues like currency scarcity, fuel shortages. President Tinubu's response to these challenges involved actions such as the removal of first subsidies and the devaluation of the Naira. These measures, coupled with um, external factors like COVID-19, climate change, and the Ukraine conflict, have collectively contributed to increased economic hardship. See, with all these people, they think they are talking to illiterates. How does the Ukraine uh, war affect Nigerian economic system? Or how we know about COVID-19 that affected the entire world. How does climate change affect us? We have unique lives and unique way of doing our things that our people have trotted. However, Mr. Sane commended President Tinubu's dedication to reversing this economic decline and revitalizing the country's economy. He emphasized that economic recovery is a continuous and concerted process that requires time and effort. He called on Nigerians to support the president's initiatives aimed at improving the situation, emphasizing that positive outcomes necessitate out ongoing and conscious endeavors. Mr. Sani also addressed the issue of promised palliatives following the removal of first subsidies. He echoed the concerns of economic experts regarding the uh, handling of this situation. He noted that the removal of first subsidies was not initially mentioned in the inaugural speech, indicating a lack of comprehensive planning. He expressed skepticism about the effectiveness of providing 8,000 Naira per month for six months to only 12 million people out of Nigeria's 216 or 220 million population, believing it wouldn't adequately address the widespread hardship. Instead, he proposed an alternative approach depositing the funds saved from fuel subsidies into a trust fund dedicated to enhancing education and health care this he argued would bolster um, nigeria's human capital and contribute to overall economic improvement regarding the impact of hardship in northern nigeria and the disappointment experienced by some with president Tinubu's government mr sani recognized the long-standing challenges of poverty and ignorance in the region. He urged Northern governors to make concerted effort to reverse this trend through targeted initiatives aimed at human development and improving the quality of life for their constituents. Can you imagine? So now he has, he is just a pro APC who has just appreciated Tinobu for doing uh, a bad job. And that is what I say here. I don't think Tinubu has anything to offer. Things are getting worse on his watch, and we're not hearing his voice. It, in fact, I'm sure that he's going to do worse. He said he will continue from when Buhari stopped, 
Buhari well, punished Nigerians with bad economy, bad economic policies and all of that. And Tinubu just suddenly continued from there and is getting work as well under his watch. So this man is not advocating for Buhari's return. That is the truth. He has not mentioned it. He only successfully, um, uh, you know, appreciated Tinubu's uh, effort so far, which is actually not adding value to anybody. These are APC by gods, okay? Simple APC by gods. That is what I see here. Hmm. Chief Anthony Sani is just promoting APC here. There's nothing. So I say, let him come and fix the music he put on. That is talking about Buhari. But Buhari, in all the PC here, Buhari self is not mentioned. So how come we're talking about Buhari here? Buhari cannot come back. That is it. After he has food and food, you and the entire Nigerians then ran to abroad for a greener pasture eh? where he banked all that he looted from the Nigerian treasury. How can you bring him back? The truth of the matter is that some people just read the topic and then or the title and then begin to comment. You read the body of the message. Buari was not even mentioned in the body of the message at all. And so this piece of write-up does not concern Buari at all because at the end of the day, what this guy is saying is what this old man is saying is about Tinubu, uh, APC, and uh, all the economic uh, decisions that I've made so far. I'm sure the publisher just put Buhari there as a clickbait, which is actually not a fair one. May God Almighty protect us from this man, hardship chairman that put Nigeria into hunger. Allah Wadara Nakaya Lalasi. And now, wow. The headline is different from Bala Blue Bulaba Bulaba. Exactly. The headline is quite different from what the body is saying. Quite unfortunate. Papa Anthony, is it because the Kabas ATM has expired and no more in issue? <laughs> Stupid headline. The man never said anything about Buhari returning. He was responding to some calls in the north asking Buhari to return. Hence his explanation that Buhari tried and Tinubu is also taking some need, some needed hard decisions. Just click on the on the red original link. Exactly. Hmm. The people of this tribe want to win and take Nigeria to dust. Hear what someone can look for. Buari, the founder of looting and uh, and sinking economy in Nigeria. So. The fact here is that everything about what what the man says or in the piece has nothing to do with Buari. That is the truth. Has nothing to do with Buari at all. It's quite unfortunate that the title is different from the body of the message. But that is what it is. Nigeria Buari cannot come back. He has nothing to offer, he has nothing to do. And Tinobu should wake up in making the right decision. In fact, he's a placeholder. To some people he's a placeholder and probably uh, you know, we lose the faith anytime. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.